Hello everyone, I'm Yoda Yun and welcome to another video of how to complete 100% of a game. This time it's Graveyard Keeper. It's a casual kind of you know, farming simulation with a tons of sense of humor. It's a very fun and cool game. And uh, this video is just going to give you a, ton, uh, a, a few little tips on how to achieve 100% and complete the game. Um, as you can see on the screen, I have 100% of the achievements, obviously. Uh, you have to know that the DLC is completely mandatory if you want to do 100% of this game, because a tons of achievements are only uh, accessible by the, sto the tavern storyline and the uh, events that you are doing over there. Uh, other than that, the, it's pretty okay and simple um, game to get 100% on. It's mostly story stuff and grinding stuff, a little bit of grinding, but there are really two very messable achievements. If you want to do everything uh, in one run, you got to look out for these guys. Uh, so the first one is that he trusted you. That involves betraying Jerry uh, when the Inquisitor asks you in his quest line if you witnessed any heathen or dark magic. So you, you have uh, three answers, I think. And you have to uh, uh, answer, I know about a talking skull uh, as a manifestation of dark magic if you want to get the achievement. Uh, so it involves betraying Jerry and don't worry, there won't be any repercussion on your gameplay. Uh, Jerry is not going to say anything to you. But if you answer anything else than that, you won't get this achievement and have to do the whole quest line again. Uh, by the way, you cannot avoid any questline. I didn't like the Inquisitor first, so I didn't want to talk to him and become his friend, but you have to. So, you know, you have to do all the quest lines and everything if you want to finish the game and get all the achievements. Uh, the second one that is very messable as an achievement is Best Seller. Um, for Best Seller, you need to bring a Gold Star quality book to the Astrologer on his final request at the end of his storyline. If you don't do that, you can have uh, found before an obsidian on upon which you done research and get research papers related to it. If you bring him that, you're gonna you're gonna be able to skip the gold star book delivery step and thus uh, miss this step completely and uh, miss the achievement that comes with it. Other than that, you uh, you can just follow the stories, grind as much as possible um, the, the little things, uh, different points, research points, for example. Uh, I know that 3000 points for the blue, uh, the blue points is pretty tough and long to get. That's the, the last one that I got. And um, for that, I, I helped myself researching all graveyard or faith related items such as statues and fences for the graveyard uh, and write tons of books uh, that's also glass i think is uh, giving you the um, a few blue points but yeah it, it's basically the longest one that i got and i got around maybe two thousand uh so you only spend like a thousand i think to research everything so you know you're, you're a long way away for it a couple other achievements that request uh, a few tips are first the healthcare uh, achievement. You need to drink 50 health potions, not craft them, but drink them. But uh, that's the, the convenient stuff. You don't need to be hurt you know, in order to drink a potion. So even if you're full health, you can still drink potions and it counts towards the achievement. So craft yourself 50 health potion or find them in the dungeon and drink them all uh, even if you're not hurt and that would work. Finally, the mag player. Uh, mag player, you need to die 10 times in total to get this one. So um, it happens naturally in the dungeon that you just die and retry until you complete it. But if you, just in case you're powering through the dungeon and avoid death at all costs, just uh, remind remind yourself or remember uh, that done, uh, tying this game doesn't cost you anything, and it, you don't uh, you need to die at least ten times in the game to get this achievement. So don't power through the dungeon too too much, too too well. 
um, don't hesitate to die a little bit and that will be okay because once you clear all the all the dungeon levels the monsters don't respawn so that would be a pain in the ass if you want to die after that once you completed it so my advice is don't hesitate to just die a, couple, a few times until you get it in the dungeons and it this happened naturally to me but i didn't try to uh, survive that much uh, and finally for the grinds that you had to have to, you're gonna have to farm these research points and also uh, fish 200 fishes I know that's that's a pain uh, there is a, a, a very rare achievement that you you have to get with the uh, the fishing mini game and that's the golden fish thing uh, golden fish you only have five percent of those uh in terms of repartition in the ocean uh you need to i think you need to uh use a golden bait that's for sure with the either the simple or the excellent fishing rod and you get five percent if you don't get these elements you, you have zero or two percent chance of getting those so for the fishing mini games you just have to know that uh, different different rods and different baits give you different chances of getting uh, different f type of fishes okay so you don't you can't just buy the excellent fishing rod and the best bait and hope to get all the fishes that does, that doesn't work that way so uh, by night or by day you have different percentages of uh, catching different types and also different rods and different baits. So remember that. For the 200 fishes, I just got carps, uh, 10 by 10, basically. It was just like the easiest one to get, and it's not too hard to catch also, so you just need to grind that. And that's pretty much it, actually. If you just follow the story, all the uh, tavern events, uh, the tavern you know, story cinematics and artifacts, uh, you're going to get all the uh, other related achievements uh, by just playing the game, get a, a good graveyard, a good quality tavern, constructing everything that you can. Uh, you're going to get all the achievements related to that. And then you're going to have the uh, events of the tavern, the four golden ones. There's a guide in, on Steam that, that uh, shows you what you require in terms of food or drinks to get uh, every single golden stars event. So you just need to um, get that that amount of food and drinks for each and uh, uh, get the uh, party going or the event going. And my advice and the guide advises you to, to do that as well is to uh, prepare everything in advance for all four events. Then um, get one event done, get the achievement, reload, uh, use the 100 beers for example that you get for the first event for the second event instead of spending them and uh and try to get a hundred of each for each event at a time basically uh so yeah that's pretty much it once you complete the stories of both the dlc and the base game uh do all the things that we mentioned uh you should get that in the bag it took me around 62 hours i think to uh to complete this uh this game so I'm happy I've done it. Uh, currently, we are playing Subnautica on Wednesdays nights at 8 p.m. CET and Saturday afternoons 1 p.m. CET on twitch.tv slash yodayun. Don't hesitate to swing by and say hi. Thank you for watching this guide and I'll see you next time for the next completion. Cheers!